All right, guys. Apollo 125cc, 17-inch front tire, 14-inch rear tire. I've got the Pro Taper 7 8 handlebars. I had to get new clamps as well. Found them on eBay. Got a uh, Pro Taper pillow top grips, breakaway levers, which were actually a pain in the ass to put in. I'll explain in a second. Both. I got a Tusk aluminum throttle tube. Uh, I had to uh, put a spacer in between the the gasket of the gas cap. I put it behind the the gasket so it pushes the rubber gasket down further so gas doesn't come out because when I put it in the trunk of my car gas leaks out and I also got new racing CDI I don't know how good it is but I found it on eBay um, one sec I'm gonna explain something to you guys all right, so on this bike, the the CDI the ports are round, and the stock ports on this bike are square. So I had to order off of eBay a converter for it. It's a GY6 converter. I ordered it off eBay, but this is where it came from. Fancy Scooters, West Berlin, New Jersey. So check them out. I just tested it out, it works. Thank you very much, guys. Um, this is the stock CDI. It's still good. You just want you want to keep it with you when you go riding, just in case your bike fails to start. You want to make sure you have the original, original parts. Uh, this is a 12-inch shock. It's the stock one. I'm gonna get a new one. I think it's gonna be a fast ace. Uh, still didn't get my Makuni carburetor yet. I bent the shit out of my shift lever. I put a new one on. Oh, so I also ordered a throttle cable the other day. And the one that I I had gone to the store originally and bought, it was about 46 inches. Sorry, a clutch cable. It was 46 inches. And... It was, I had to wrap it around, I had to wrap it around the bike real weird for it to actually be tight. Um, but you're going to want to put, you're going to want to put the end of the cable in. Then you're going to want to stretch it and then fit it through here. Mine's broken because I tried to widen it for some dumbass reason. Um, but then... It's, you're going to want to make sure that this is as tight as it can get because if not, then uh, you're just, you're going to still, you're going to be, um, when you go to kickstart your bike, it's going to be, it, you don't want it to be that tight because if it's too tight, then this is going to be pulled too much and it's going to be in neutral and you won't be able to kickstart your bike. Uh, one second. I just tighten mine a little bit. Um, that's about it. That's about it. I just oh, I ordered these off of eBay. Wings Moto or Amazon. They're Wing Moto breakaway levers. They were like fifteen bucks. I mean, it's a Chinese pit bike to begin with, so I, I don't want to spend too much money on it. But I do want to put at least a little bit better parts on it than that did come with it. Uh, I'm gonna get a new gas tank, maybe. I don't know. There's no spacer in between, so the gas tank, sometimes, like, it's just like, it feels like it's loose, but it's only one bolt that's bolting it on. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys this, so, uh, I'm still doing a giveaway. I'm giving away 
set of pro taper handlebars when I get to 500 subscribers. So make sure you guys like my videos and subscribe. I'm actually about to go ride for you, so um, you'll see me in a little bit. Thanks, guys.